Right, well, hey, welcome back to another little vid. This one's gonna be a, a quick little overnighter, mate. I'm just going on a solo camping mission up the creek. Uh, and I'm gonna try and catch a few different things, like maybe a flatty, a squid, brought a crab pot with me. Uh, I can troll for a Mackie out the front if it's nice. But it's just gonna be a little overnight, set up camp on the beach, watch the sunset, have a quiet tin on my own, see what I can find. This is so weird. I haven't seen this before. Have a look at this, here's two turtles. I think this is how they mate. So anyway, they're rolling around on top of each other. And yeah, this is pretty crazy. I've not seen this before. Have a look at them. Go son, far out. Hey, what a way to do it. Sorry mate. I'm interrupting your private time. <laughs> Alright, good luck pal. How's that? Always see something new out in the water. Well, the tide's out too far to get into this campground. The beach is, um, the sand's out too far, so a little bit of a like reef edge, rocky ledge in this creek. I'm just going to troll up and down with the Alecky and a squid jig. I've seen them um, as I was cruising the sandbar, I've seen a few squid on the surface, so I'll just troll along with the Alecky nice and slow, jigging along the, the reef edge and the rocks. Let's see if I can't get some squid while we wait for the tide to come in. Yeah! <laughs> uh, I don't think he's um, ink jet so I'm gonna leave him in there and try and get him to squirt his ink out so he doesn't put it in the boat. There we go. Just inked. I knew he was tricking me. I'll put him in the live tank. Alright let's give you a look at the setup today. So after having the swag down the front here on my mission the other day I noticed that if you get a few waves over the side that uh, yeah your swag gets wet. So I've strapped it up on top. There you go. And it also gives me a bit more room down the bottom here so you can walk around, put the esky there, uh, that sort of thing, because I had the esky up the back the other day. Anyway, it's strapped down on the T-top, no worries, didn't make it shake around a bit. Uh, like I said, the tide has been out, it's just turned, it's racing in now. The campground is that beach up there behind me. I'm just going to float along and keep flicking this. I've only got the one squid, seen a few more, but they're just not interested in the squid jigs, which is weird. Like. When have you ever seen a squid not eat a squid jig when you put it in front of them? I even tried three different colours. Stole my head in. And these were big donkeys too. Anyway, that's fishing. Alright, we're ripping in. I'm just going to go and set up. I'll show you my camp set up. Kick back, have a few beers. Might um, go and put a crab pot in. Throw a few lines off the beach. And uh, yeah, just try and get a bit of a feed and a cook up. But if I don't, I've got a, uh, I've got a plan B. Yeah! Not a bad fish actually, you got a flatty, I think. Oi! Oh. Lost it. Would have had to be a flatty. It was off the flats on a little. Oh man. Yeah, well. Dang! Said I wanted a flatty. I've got a flatty. <laughs> he just needs to be a little bit bigger. Incoming tide might be the trick. Oi, better flatty. Might even go legal that one. Happy days. He's still not quite legal. <sighs> We're getting bigger. Come on, son. What a stonker. Big 70. Welcome to camp, mate. Have a look at this, would ya? Alright, so as I unpack the boat, um, 
one of my cameras on this trip decided not to uh, record the audio so there will be a bit of voiceover from yours truly <laughs> i'm going to try and match it up to the words and lip read it as i go but um yeah i'm sure i'll get it wrong but you'll get the gist anyway here's the swag camp chairs food i think we're done and the hardest part about a solo trip is um unpacking all the gear on your own there's no kids to do it just gonna swim out and make sure my anchor's buried in properly out the front. I'm gonna dive under and make sure it's biting in. Mask up. Don't get much better than that. This water is so warm. Right, -o, let's take you for a walk around camp before I set up. Got a cold tin after all that unpacking. Now swing around here, boats down there up on anchor. Got my own little bar top there set up. I'll cook on that, have a couple of frothies later. And then I'm just gonna set up the stretcher, the swag, um, kick back and watch the sunset. I tell you what, don't come much better than this, eh? Hey? All to myself. There's a couple of boats moored up there out on um, a few moorings, but apart from that, it's just me and me swag and about seven beers and a cooker and a bit of squid. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be good. All right. Let's get it set up. This is something new. I just got the single ARB stretcher. Makes the swag heaps comfier and gets you off the ground. And then my single Skydome swag. Um, takes a few minutes to set up. Have a look at the view, hey? Heaps of mozzie mesh, so you got lots of airflow. It's nice and cool here when you're camping. And you can gaze up at the stars too if you want to. I've got a bit of shout out here. Um, this hat is from a mate that I met on the road years ago. I met him at actually at Middle Lagoon in WA. But Hendo, uh, he gave me this hat when I caught up with him in Perth not long ago. And he said, I want to see this in a video. I said, right, I reckon I can make that happen. And uh, here you go. Here's his MDH trucker hat. He owns a, a transport company over in WA. So he's a champion fella. Um, and hopefully I'll catch up with him again soon. But here you go, mate. There's your trucker hat in one of my vids. Happy days, bro. Cook up time. Here's what I'm gonna do with my squid. I've cleaned it up. I'm gonna throw a bit of this seasoning on it. This is the Lane's, it's a, a chili lime rub. Now, what I do with my squid, uh, when I get them, I just clean them pull the tentacles out and I usually keep the head and the tentacles for bait and then I score my tube like this that just stops it like curling up when you're trying to cook it on the pan and then I season it up cut it into a few pieces and um, chuck it straight on the hot plate and it um yeah, it helps mate if you take the little plastic seal off the top of the rub yep <laughs> there we go anyway cooker set up it's just a little gas cooker with an inbuilt fry pan and a lid Chuck that straight on there. Got a bit of leftover coral trout from a, a fishing session a while ago. Bit of seasoning on that. We'll just cook that up and then bang into it. Bit of an arvo snack. So before I told you I'd have a plan B if I didn't catch too much fish for dinner. I'll show you that later too. She's ready to go. Just gonna grab this with a bit of a knife and then um, bang it in the gob. Super simple. Bit of seasoning straight on the pan. Oh, mate. That is off its head. Here, I'll check out the sunset. I'll take you for a bit of a look. This is bloody magical. You reckon you could do a few days here? Pretty easy. It's that good. Crab pot time. So I bought one along with me. Now I got a few leftover fish heads. And uh, there's a couple of mangroves up the beach, so I've just wandered up here. I'm going to tie it off um, below the high tide line, and then we'll come and check it in the morning. And you never know. Hopefully, um, there might be a muddy in there, but we'll chuck it in there, leave him overnight, and um, here's hoping. Muddy would be nice. 
Nice crab. See you in the morning. All right, so here's plan B. Now, if you've watched my vids before, I use the camper's pantry stuff. I always keep a couple in the boat, in the car, just for quick, easy meals. Uh, it's freeze dried, so that's what it looks like when you get it out of the packet. Um, and then all you have to do is boil your kettle and uh, you can either pour it straight in the bag or you can put it in a container with a lid on it and you just let it sit for like 20 minutes. Give it a stir now and then and then you come back and it's done. So I've just pulled my hot plate off, boiling the water on um, the gas there with my hot plate off that cooker and then I'll just pour it in, wait 20 minutes and uh, yeah, dinner will be served. And while that's happening, I'm going to duck down the boat and have a shower. I've got a fresh water shower to show you, so I'll give you a bit of info on that too. Here, this thing is called On Tap. Now it's just a black jerry can, 20 litres. It's got an inbuilt pump and 12 volt socket, and you just plug it into a, your power source, uh, switch it on, and away you go. You got 20 litres of fresh water, so it's perfect for the boat, and I'll keep it in the back of the ute sometimes too, just to have as a shower. But um, yeah, I've just got a locky strap down there to the ute, and I, oh, even when I'm camping, I just I struggle going to bed when I'm dirty and salty. So having a fresh shower for me, mate, makes all the difference. Of course, I forgot um, toiletries. I didn't bring shampoo and stuff, but I always keep baby shampoo in the boat because we use it on our snorkel uh, goggles to make them not fog up. So anyway, I'll be smooth as a baby's bottom tonight. Don't worry about that. Ah, you see me? Not really. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Anyway, I'm tucking into my pasta. Been sitting for about 20 minutes in here. It's all rehydrated. Delicious. Oh, man. It's one good thing about these. Like, you're never gonna cook spaghetti bolognese when you come camping in the boat or the forby, you know. But you can just put boiling water in this. And man, uh, it's pretty damn close to being as good as it gets. You gotta have a look. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Morning time. How good is it, mate? It's about 10 past five in the morning. Uh, the wind's supposed to get up today, so I'm gonna get cracking early and beat the swell home and the chop. But have a look at this, mate. Have a look at camp. There you go. What a bloody good spot to spend the night. No mud crabs this morning. I pulled that pot. Um, nothing in there at all. So um, I'll have to go searching for a different spot next time I come. But anyway, let's go. Time to get back out of here. Good solo mission in the books. And uh, I'll definitely be back. But hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Um, comments, question, feedback down below. We'll see you later.